Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Hurt. Thanks for the opportunity to send you this message. Um, as you can tell, I haven't had a haven't had a haircut in a while due to the COVID nineteen. But um, uh, I grew up in the nineteen seventies, and long hair was kind of the kind of the fashion back then. So I'm going to show you a picture of me whenever I was in high school. So after the laughter subsides there, uh, my hair's not quite there yet, but uh, I show you that picture for two reasons. Number one, of course, a good laugh. Uh, but secondly, to remind you that you know, things will change. Um, definitely go after your dreams and aspirations uh, to the best of your ability. Um, make good decisions and do the right thing. Uh, but things are going to change for you here in the next several years. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Uh, it was my pleasure to teach or coach or definitely get to know you guys. Um, but my best to you in the future. Have a great time. All right. Go get them. Hadley Taylor in Sydney. Um, it's like the 30th video I've recorded. I keep deleting them. Uh, I think I've made it through one time and I wasn't happy. So we'll see how I can do this time. First of all, congratulations. Um, it's sad to see you guys be done. Um, you know, I, I'm excited for you. 
there's so many awesome things in life to come for you. You're going to have some really awesome experiences. Um, but congratulations to this point. Uh, obviously, I wish the, the end of this season and year would have looked so different. I have the what ifs daily. I, I still wake up at night thinking about it, and I, I think that will probably continue uh, for a while. Uh, you know, I, I know how good we could have been, uh, and that that still hurts. But uh, you know, when I think back to the, the the four years I've had with you guys, <clears throat> things that stand out to me. One is just how much I enjoyed coaching you guys, uh, how much fun I've had at practice and at meets. Um, you know, I think many of practices where I just wasn't in a hurry to get out of there because we were having fun. Uh, we just wanted to be around each other. Uh, Listen to Max, you know, Coach Tuttle's stories, you know, whatever it may be. Um, we just had a good time with all that. And so thank you for creating that atmosphere um, and, and, and having fun. Um, your work ethic, that's the other thing. You know, you guys – came every day with the work ethic that we needed to be able to get our team to where it is right now. Um, I think that that legacy that you guys have left, that you, you we're going to see that for the next few years. Um, you guys helped develop a culture in our program um, that uh, it's a winning culture now, right? And so, um, you know, hopefully we'll continue down that road um, with the girls that have learned from you guys. So uh, thank you for, for what you brought to practice every day, how competitive you guys were. Um, you know, when it was go time at meets, we got after it and, um, you know, just enjoyed watching you guys compete and, and do the things that you do. Um, Hadley, for you, you know, watching you grow in this sport, you know, coming in as a freshman, never doing it. Um, you know, I think back to throwing, you know, watching you throw a football in PE class and making a comment and um, quickly learning the competitor that you are, uh, wanting to prove me wrong, right? Um, costumes, thinking about, you know, hey, when do we get our costumes? Uh, so I think that'll be something I think about every time I go hand out uniforms. Um, and that'll always give me a, a laugh and a smile, and I'll probably tell that story a million times. Um, but really, I think, you know, to see where you are now compared to when you first started, I think you just got there because of your willingness to just try things, um, to be excited about something new, to be a part of a team, um, find your role on a team. Uh, those things just stood out to me, and, and you did that throughout your four years. And, you know, that with your work ethic and with that competitiveness in you and that, that always wanting to improve um, puts you to where you are now, and, and that is – the fastest sprinter in school history. So um, that's awesome. Uh, Sydney, uh, thank you for coming to Bloomington North. Um, and, you know, thank you for just trusting me as your coach. You know, I, 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 I think back through your four years and thanks for running cross country. Hadley, you too. I, I know that that's a horrible thought and probably a thought that you never wanted to do that again. Um, and I don't know if you would do it if you did it over, I don't know if you'd do that again. But, um, again, it meant a lot to me because it, it showed that you just put a trust in me and the program and what I've been trying to do. And so, um, you know, your ups and downs uh, through your four years, right, the the health stuff, that just, um, you know, I, I feel like it, what makes me most proud is no matter where you were at any point in the season, um, when it mattered, you were there. Um you were always such an important part on so many of our relays. Um, watching you run the third carry, the curve on a four by one for so many years, just that staple spot, knowing that we can count on you, um, it's huge. Uh, and I will miss watching you in that spot. Um, you know, I've, I've enjoyed all of my conversations with you, just, uh, um, you know, just being able to rely on you, count on you. Um, Wherever we put you, you always found your spot and you always found your way to contribute. And um, I, I think that says a lot about you. Uh, Taylor, I, I feel like your consistency and you've just, you've always been there. You know, when you first came in as a freshman, sophomore, you had Paige, uh, your junior, senior, there's, now there's Hadley. Um, but again, you found your role. You found, you know, you, you've scored so many points for us. Um, and, you know, when I look at you on our relays, you did a little bit of everything, uh, you know, out of the blocks, down the back stretch, uh, on the anchor, um, you know, on multiple four by fours, wherever we put you, uh, you just did what you needed to do always. Um, you know, I've over the last couple of years, I've had some difficult decisions when it came time for relays. Um, and I can tell you, Taylor, that um, your consistency, I, I, I very rarely 
I always had in my head that I, I know what Taylor will give us, and she's on that relay. <laughs> um, and so, as a coach, that you, you made my decisions easy. You 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 helped me with that, whether you knew that or not. Um, so I appreciate that. Right, your uh, your work ethic. You're such a competitor. Uh, just being able to count on you. It's having athletes that you can count on is huge and and you're one of those so uh thank you i also appreciate your leadership uh, i appreciate your well-timed cuss words um you you always said those at the right time and maybe others of us were thinking some of those things and, and you just said it for us for maybe those of us that aren't allowed to um but you know so i appreciated that with you it always gave me a, a laugh away from the moment um, I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, I'm sitting here watching this and now I'm at six minutes and I told myself I was going to make this one shorter, but it's so hard. Uh, there's just so much to what we've done and, and the times that I've spent with you and I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, please come around. Please stay in touch. Um, thank you guys for everything that you've done for me and for our track program. Hello, everybody. I want to congratulate everybody who's taken part in the, uh, backyard graduation ceremony today. I hope everything's going well and you're enjoying yourselves. Um, I just wanted to send a quick note um, to say thank you, number one, um, for all that you've given to Bloomington North. And, um, you know, I know it didn't end the way that we were hoping. Um, I was excited about our spring seasons um, coming up. So all of you who are part of spring sports, um, I hate missing you guys out there competing because um, I know it was going to be a great spring for Bloomington North. Um, you know, the whole thing, um, you know, we didn't know what to expect that Thursday. Um, we're all told that we're not coming back to school um, right before spring break, and then subsequently we find out we're not coming back to school at all um, for, the, for the rest of the spring. And it just brings you to that thought of enjoying the moment. Um, I hope you're enjoying the moment right now. Um, out there in the backyard, um, out in the sun, finally around some people. Um, I really do hope you're enjoying yourselves and having a good time. Um, because we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what tomorrow brings. Um, yes, we have to prepare for it. We have to be ready. We have to set goals. We, you know, we, we want to keep going, keep plugging. Um, but we don't know what the future holds. And things can be taken away from us. You know, those things that we thought were senior rights of the prom, of your um, graduation ceremonies, of your clubs, your, your being the captains on your teams, being the leaders of your teams, um, all those things that you were building up to that, that were taken away, um, you know, we, we never know what the future holds. Um, so it does bring us back to that being present, enjoying the moment, um, taking advantage of the the gifts that we have right now um, so that's my message to you um, not that you know you guys have learned the hard way of how and to cope with that and um, it's a it's definitely a spring and a graduating class that nobody is ever going to forget and um, you know regardless of the situation you're still Bloomington North graduates. You're still Cougars. Um, you're always going to be a part of our family. And we want to make sure that uh, you know that we care about you. And we wish the best for you. And we hope that all of you go find something that you want to do in life, that you enjoy, that you love. So it's never feeling like a job. But you always remember to live in the moment, be present, and enjoy yourself because we never know what tomorrow brings. So graduates, thank you. Enjoy the moment. I'll be keeping an eye out for you to see how well you're doing and all those things that uh, are coming your way in the future. And just want to know, want you to know that uh, we're going to miss you, but you're always welcome back. Congratulations to all of you. So congratulations to my 2020 class, um, one of my favorite classes. And thinking back, I think when I arrived, you guys were fourth graders. And I remember seeing your competitiveness on the basketball court when there was an opposing team that was supposed to come 
uh, on a Saturday and they didn't show up. So your team split up into um, an, a, a scrimmage situation and the competition was high. And I, I think even uh, a fight broke out at, at center court during the game. Um, nothing big, but just showed that there was a lot of uh, intensity there. And then the times that you guys uh, would hang out with me watching basketball games was always was always um, enjoyable. And I can still remember, I think it was fifth grade, um, I used to taunt Max, and he would taunt me back about Ohio State IU. And uh, IU upset Ohio State. And I remember walking down the hall and seeing Max and he uh, took off into uh, Mrs. Dawson's class, so I went to harass him and couldn't find him. And then he was uh, hiding behind the uh, mama-son chair in in Mrs. Dawson's class. So good memories of you guys. Uh, Tyler and, and Colin have joined me uh, in Uganda. And we're going to again this year, uh, along with Davis, who was in your class. So I'm kind of saddened that all that got canceled. And I'm hoping that in the future, you guys can join me to take young guys to Uganda. It's huge for those kids over there. Usually they see lots of women going with me. Uh, but when the young guys go, it's it's pretty special. So for uh, Tyler and Xavier and Colin and Max, and um, let's see, have I, uh, let me go through it again, make sure I don't forget anybody. Tyler, Colin, Max, Xavier, and um, I think uh, I think you guys have a buddy named Jack that um, you brought to Mass a few times. But one of the things that impressed me the most is that you guys um, still practice your faith and come to Mass. Um, nothing warms my heart more than when I see you guys uh, sitting in the pews. And some of you have even come without your parents, without your family, which is which is kind of special as well. So know my prayers uh, for, for you during this um, difficult time. Uh, some of you are staying at IU. I'm excited about that. And I don't think I've ever, this will be the first time, where I have um, one of my kids um, on the IU football team and one of them on the IU basketball team. And then next year, there'll be a second one on the IU football team. So you guys are making me pretty proud um, as a priest, um, as, as your religious leader. So congratulations on finishing your high school career. And, and I look forward to seeing your successes in the future. Um, and always know that God is with you all the time. All right. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.